Hello everybody. So today we're going to continue our study of music and last uh, last video we talked about major scales and then the video after that we demonstrated all the major scales. So today we're going to talk about minor scales. Okay. So what does the book tell us about minor scales? The minor scale as we said before, there are two arrangements or basic patterns in use today which are called scales. The first of these we discussed as the major scale. The minor scale is the next most frequently used arrangement of tones and is constructed in an entirely different way from the major scale, i.e. its pattern of whole steps and half steps will be different. Historically speaking, both of these scales were derived from an earlier group of scales called modes. During the Middle Ages and up until the early 17th century, there were several of these modes in use, but within the last 300 years, the two modes from which the major and minor scales developed, i.e. the Ionian and Aeolian, have come to be used to the exclusion of the other modes. And I don't think this textbook is going to really cover it, but um, along with the modes, we also have a lot of other scales available to us, especially in the more modern era, uh, where a lot of international music has become in vogue. So we have our Persian scale, our, um, what is it, our Arabic scale, I believe it's called, but there are like three or four others that are in use today, and you can actually... Um, hear them uh, in action. In fact, let me pull up, uh, let me pull up my notes over here. So let's see here. Da, 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 da. Where is that chord stacking? I think can I do chords arpeggiation? Yes, arpeggiative. So I'm going to turn on on the LMMS. Uh, so the different scales that they're talking about, we have if if you were to look at um, the uh, the LMMS options that are available to you, we have blues scale, Arabic scale, enigmatic ne Neapolitan uh, Neapolitan minor, Hungarian minor, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, Locrian minor, chromatic, half whole diminished, Phrygian dominant, and Persian. So right there, those are all scales. So if I were to play, let's well, let's just grab one. So we're all familiar with the A ol, or the Ionian. That's the one. That's our major scale. Um, da, 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 da. Come on, where is it? Ionian. Well, they don't have Ionian in here because that's our major scale. But if we have, let's say Dorian. <laughs> So that is, and you can actually see the notes being played out, that is our Dorian. Okay, and then Phrygian. Okay. And then what else? We've got our Lydian. Mixolydian. All right, I'm not going to bore you with the rest, but you get the idea. So that's what they're talking about when they talk about modes, how you build different scales. Okay, so let me go ahead and change it back, turn the arpeggiator off. So that way we have good old boring major. All right, so here we go back to our notes. Uh, the Ionian and the Aeolian have come to be used to the exclusion of the other modes. Okay. A minor scale is a succession of eight notes from any one letter name to its octave so arranged that a half step appears between the second and the third degrees and the fifth and sixth degrees, reckoning upwards. All of the other degrees will be whole step. So they say that a half step occurs between the second and third degrees and the fifth and sixth de degrees. And if you remember, are they going to talk about it here? Um, I don't see it. Okay, so the rest they're going to be talking about the, uh, the uh, different um, uh, forms of minor. But remember that this was our tonic, supertonic, mediant, subdominant, dominant, subdominant, leading tone, and our uh, and then tonic as well. So the a half step is going to occur between our supertonic and our mediant, 
and the diminished, or sorry, and the dominant and the submedian. So if I were to play that, oh, and they want us to start on A. So whole step and then half step, half step, half step, whole step. As in the above example, the white keys of the piano from A to its octave A fulfill the conditions of our definition. This arrangement of tones is called the natural minor, pure minor, or Aeolian minor. Okay, so once again, hearkening back to those modes. To distinguish it from the two slightly altered forms of the minor scale, which we shall discuss presently. The natural minor scale of A is related to the major scale of C in that both use the same key signature, i.e., no sharps or flats. As you see, so if I play the Ionian mode or the major scale, and then if I play the Aeolian mode or the minor scale, see, I didn't have to alter any of my tones at all in order to fulfill the requirements of a major or of a, of a minor scale. As with the case, as was the case with the major scale, the minor scale may begin on any one of our 12 possible pitches. The student should construct all of the natural minor scales according to the arrangement of whole steps and half steps given in the definition above. To do this, he should use the method outlined before for the construction of the major scale. And we're going to demonstrate that at the end of this video a lot more quickly than we did in the major scale, but still. Uh, we will cover them all. After this has been done, if the accidentals which are used in the construction of the minor scale are assembled in their proper, proper order, the student will find that he has the same set of key signatures that he arrived at before in the construction of the major scale. To illustrate, we have B minor, and it's the same key signature as D major. Notice that the on the keyboard I was pressing the same uh, the same uh, black notes as you would see uh, in the minor. So so C sharp, right? F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B. F sharp, C sharp, D. And then F minor, same same uh, signature as A flat major. Thus, we see that for each key signature, we have not only the major scale, but also the minor scale, using the same tones, but with its keynote located one and one half steps below the keynote of the major scales. These pairs of major and minor scales, which share the same key signature, are said to be related. For example, E minor is the relative minor of G major because they both have the same key signature, i.e. both contain the same notes. And the tonic of the minor scale is located one and one half steps below the tonic of the major scale. For the same reason, B flat major is said to be the relative major of G minor. The student must write out all the pairs of related major and minor scales according to the following example. Okay, um, let's see here. Where are we going to go to? Ooh, you know what? We've reached the bottom of our notes. I'm going to have to make a new set of notes here for our next video. All right, so we will we will take that as a sign that here we end. And so the rest tones, I will simply read through the rest of this, and then we'll actually do a demonstration of writing out all the minor scales. The rest tones in a minor key are the same as those of the major key, i.e. tonic, median, and dominant. In the major scale, we uh, in the major key, we saw that the seventh degree on an active tone had a strong tendency to go to the tonic because it was separated from its eighth degree by only a half step. If we look at our pattern for the natural minor scale, we see that the seventh degree is a whole step below the tonic. 
In order to keep this strong active tendency of the 7th degree to go to the 8th degree, or leading tone to uh, tonic, it will be necessary for us to raise the 7th degree a half step by the use of an accidental. While the leading tone needs to have this strong upward tendency, uh, or will be more clearly understood when we begin the study of chords. From the example below, the student will see that when we raise the seventh degree a half step to make the distance between the sixth and we make the distance between the sixth and the seventh degrees a step and a half, one and a half steps. So if I play that. One and a half steps. So you see that'd be a major. That'd be one step, a whole step, and then we add. That's one and a half steps. This distance of one and a half steps between the sixth degree and the raised seventh degree is called an augmented second. Using this raised seventh in the minor scale produces a slightly different arrangement of the tones. When the seventh degree of the natural minor scale is raised, the resulting scale is called harmonic minor. This scale remains the same both ascending and descending. This is the most common form of the minor scale in use today, and when no particular form is specified, the harmonic form is the one which is usually intended. As mentioned above, the sixth and uh, the sixth to the seventh degree in this scale, in this scale, there is, as we mentioned above, from the sixth to the seventh degree in this scale, there is a space of one step and a half. This augmented second sounds awkward and at one time was considered very difficult to sing. If we raise the sixth, sixth degree, I can speak honest, along with the seventh, we get rid of, these awkward, of this awkward interval and produce a very singable approach to the tonic. In fact, we see that the last four notes of this major scale are exactly like the second tetrachord, i.e. four notes of the major scale. This is called the melodic minor scale in its ascending form. So if I were to play that uh, with the A minor. That's our tetrachord taken from our A major scale. And then minor. See, it's, it's the same. So the last four notes of the minor scale are exactly like the second tetrachord of the major scale. This is called the, melod the melodic minor scale in its ascending form. In descending from the tonic, we do not need any strong upward tendency in the leading tone, so both the seventh and the sixth scale degrees will revert back to their normal form again. This is called the melodic minor scale in its descending form. So, ascending. There you go. That is the melodic minor in ascending and descending. Now, I'm going to take you... Actually, I'm going to check the notes here quickly and just see if there if we covered the extent of minor or if we need to cover anything in the uh, in the future. So let's see here. Enable. Da -da -da -da. Let's see here. Where is it? There we go. Let's see. Good. So let me skim through and find the minor scale, so 29, goes through 33. So let me see. Let me see if we have left anything off. As far as as far as far my own personal experience with minor scales, that is the extent of minor. But let's see if they want to say anything further. Lay some knowledge on us. So just skimming through the original book, it doesn't have the coloring on it, so that's why... I have it here just in the regular black and white version, which you have available to you on the GitHub repository. So we did melodic minor, uh, tonic, as we said before, the melodic minor, which in ascending form, so that the student must carefully reread. Da, 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 dum. 
the rest tones we covered we covered the melodic minor ascending and descending so they simply just give a demonstration all right we'll go ahead and demonstrate that here so let's see here show the header can we mm, okay let's just show it as is right actually the go control shift uh well that's presentation we need We need, oh, we did fit to width. Is it F11? There we go. All right. And it was, uh, don't be shocked by the, uh, the change in color. It's going to be just white. Um, where is it? Where is it? Music theory, I believe. I think it's this one. There we go. All right. So... Um, as you see here, we have the student, the ascending and descending. The student should reread carefully this chapter on the different forms of the minor scale. They are not difficult to remember if they are once thoroughly understood. Once again, practice, practice, practice makes perfect every time, almost every time. To sum this up, there are three versions of the minor scale commonly used today. They are the natural minor scale with the half steps between the second and third and fifth and sixth. The harmonic minor formed by raising the seventh degree of the natural minor scale one half step one half step and the melodic minor scale which in ascending form is um which in ascending is formed by raising both the sixth and seventh de uh, degrees of the natural minor scale one half step and which in descending reverts to the original form of the natural minor scale it will be noted that the Alterations affecting the 6th and 7th degrees of these minor scales are not part of the key signature, and that is, the raising or lowering of these degrees will be done by the use of accidentals. As we said before, each minor scale has the same signature as some major scale, and therefore it is said to be the relative minor of that major scale. The minor and major scales, which have the same tonic, are also related. Uh, uh, G minor and G major. G minor is said to be the tonic minor or the parallel minor of G major. So if I were to, um, if I were to play that here, so uh, G major. Four. And then the minor. So that would be the parallel minor or the tonic minor uh, for G major. So this is G minor, parallel minor to G major. Because they share the same tonic key. The student must clearly understand this distinction. Relative minor refers to a minor scale, which has the same key signature as the same major scale. Tonic minor refers to a minor scale, which has the same tonic as some major scale. The student will write out all 12 minor scales, giving the three forms of each according to this method. Natural minor, write the eight notes in succession above the keynote which is given, that is one note for each successive line or space. Mark a tie where the half steps should appear between the second and third and the fifth and sixth degrees. Fill in the accidentals necessary to make the half steps come in the right places. The harmonic minor, construct in the above manner. A natural minor scale on the given note by means of an accidental raise the seventh degree one half step melodic minor construct in the above manner a natural minor scale on the given keynote for the ascending form by means of accidentals raise both the sixth and seventh degrees one half step for the descending form return the sixth and seventh degrees by means of accidentals uh, to their original form in the natural minor all right and then we get into the chromatic scale which we will not cover today so let's go ahead and start working through our notes and we are going to lay out each minor in its three forms and uh well we don't have to do we have to write it in both the uh clefs why not? It's good practice. Okay, here we go. No talky talky, more uh, noty noty, right? 
So take careful note. Here we go. Make sure that uh, I am set so that you guys can see these notes properly. Go ahead and settle in and uh, get a nice cup of coffee, or if you're seeing this in the uh, morning, then a nice cup of coffee. Settle in, because we're going to do some homework. All right, here we go. So we're going to start first with our, uh, we'll start with um, C, uh, let's see, A minor. We'll follow our key signature, right? So we started with our natural. So we're going to start with A minor. Okay. Move this over here so I've got room. Got to make room for my little tablet. Here we go. So no key signature and just write it out. E, F, G, A. is A minor, so we're going to do lowercase. Helps to differentiate it. And now in the bass clef. Oh, and that's G. So we start here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, yeah, <laughs> tie between the fifth and sixth, right? Hey, I'm going to be a pro at this by the time we're done. Is it, no, it's control shift R, there we go. Working in Zernal again. There we go. All right. Second and third and fifth and sixth, A minor. So this is A minor, and we'll do natural. All right, and do we have room? We'll probably be able to do our, be able to do our, um, our, our uh, what is it? We have our harmonic, we have melodic, so we're going to do our harmonic over here. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, A. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. So between three and between two and three and five and six, and then we need to. So sharp the seventh scale degree. And now it works. All right, in the bass. That makes it a harmonic minor. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. Tie between second and third, fifth and sixth. Sharp the G. A harmonic. So that's going to be A harmonic minor. A harmonic minor. Hopefully I'm kind of leaning over here a little so I can write and it probably shows a little. Well, and let's move the camera that way. There we go. Okay. And hopefully the sound is good as well. All right. 
So now we're going to show our melodic minor. Here we go. So this is a melodic minor. Let's see if you guys can see that. You can just makes it. Okay. And we'll go ahead and start with our, we're going to cut that down in half. There we go. Close enough. And write them out. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Tie between two and three, and five and six in the base as well, and then we'll do accidents. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. Tie two and three, five and six. Melodic, sharp six and seven. Ascending. This is our ascending. Uh, just enough room. Make sure you make yours a little neater than mine. Here we go. So that's our ascending, now our descending. So we simply write the order in reverse for right now. A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So this is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember distance sixth and seventh, and second and third. Now, if this was sharp, technically this is in the same a uh, piece of music, so we would need to use our accidental symbols. So, A natural, or a, a G natural, F natural. In our bass, same, same ting, there we go. A, G, F, E, D, C, B and A. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and put the the naturals on the G and the F. Okay. And we needed to have the distance between our 6 and 7 and between our 3 and 2. There we go. A minor natural, A harmonic minor, and A melodic minor. <laughs> we go all right and now I need to go ahead and delete this set and do our next set let's power through these right drill baby drill okay so so if, E minor E minor we're gonna go up by fifths so E natural minor okay and our starting pitch E F G A B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, five, and six. Bass line. Ah, uh, we'll do it. Actually, no, we won't. We will move 
move our notes down. So A natural, move that down there, and we'll start down here. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Two and three, tie, five and six, tie. Okay, so let's go ahead and play it first with no changes. Okay, and so we need to have... That's already... have a whole step between E and E and F. So we're going to go ahead and sharp F. All the change we needed to do was to sharp 2. And now it matches our criteria for an E natural minor over here. E not uh, E Harmonic, harmonic minor, right amount, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, between 2 and 3, between five and six. Yeah, we'll go ahead and show it up here. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, once again, tie two and three. Five and six. Same sharp. And I guess I should also show the sharp F sharp, right? F sharp. F sharp. And we need to sharp our D to show that it is a, a harmonic minor. Down here, we're going to now do, uh, have our E melodic minor. And let's see, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E, F, G, A. B, C, D, and E. Two and three, five and six, and now we play it out. So we take our two, we had to sharp our two. And then we had to sharp our 6th and 7th scale degrees in order to get that tetrachord, or the remove the distance of the augmented second. Very good. And then for descending, oh, look at that. My stems were up. Naughty boy. Okay, so we need to stem down until we get to the middle, and then we can either stem up or down. There we go. And E. There we go. And same for our base. So we have up here E, D, C, B, A, G, F, and E. So all we need to do here is we need to remove our accidental 
action from our previous scale. Okay. And we still need to have our F sharp. Hopefully that's clear enough. I know that's rather messy. Here we go. E melodic minor. Moving on to the next one. Control shift. Okay, and we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and write out the key signature. Okay, so we have B minor. We're traveling up by fifths, which gives us the same key signature as if we were in D major. So F sharp, C sharp. F sharp, C sharp, good, there we go, and this is our B minor, okay, so this is B natural minor, B harmonic minor, and then B melodic, right? Let's all be melodic, shall we? Sorry for the jokes. Here we go. B natural minor. Starting on B, as you would expect. B. C. D. E. F. G. A. B. Same in the bass. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight tie between the sixth, not the, <laughs> not the sixth and seventh, between the fifth and sixth. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and play it out. So we already need a whole step between our one and two, so we're going to go ahead and drop that down for both. And so that already created a half step between two and three. And then we need a whole step between four and five. So we can also borrow from our key signature here at the beginning, F sharp. And that's all. So we have C sharp and F sharp, and that is our B natural minor. Okay. And then our B harmonic minor, and I am going to switch back to a medium tip because I think that's probably going to be a little bit easier to see. Let me guys uh, let me know in the comments guys if if this is easier to read. If it's just a little bit finer, uh, less blotty, I think. Feels more like a pen for me. All right, so B C D E F G, A, uh, and B, and same in the bass, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And yes, I know my stems are the wrong direction. They should be up until the center, but I'm not changing it. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. There we go. And so our ties between two and three, two and three, and five and six, five and six. So we'll go ahead and do our C sharp. We can borrow that right off. So pretty much everything we have from our previous example, we can transfer over. And then we need to sharp our seventh tone in order to raise it. So now we play. Mm -hmm. 
There's our B harmonic minor. B melodic minor. I'll go ahead and write that out. B. C. D. E. F. G. A. And B. B. C. D. E. F. G. A. And B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Between two and three. Tie between two and three. And between five and six. Go ahead and copy the accidentals for the one, the previous examples. So both two and five are going to receive the accidentals. And then we know that six and seven will also need accidentals in order to increase them, that those uh, whole steps to remove that, um, that uh, augmented second. And then on our decreasing scale, we simply lower them. So I'm going to go ahead and as I go, I will write that out. So there's our B, A, G, F, oh, and stems. <laughs> That's going to be the death of me yet. Okay, so B, A, G, F, E, D, uh, C. Oh, I'm sinking. There we go. What am I thinking about? And finally, B. And same in our baseline. B, A, G, F, E, B, there we go, uh, C, oh no, D, uh, C, and B. And then the accidentals that we will need are our C sharp and our, so if we do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we need our distance between our sixth and seventh, half note between six and five, and between three and two. So we go ahead and we'll need to sharp our five still, pretty much like I said, borrowing from our previous example. So if we play that now. Okay. All right, so there's our B natural. Up to F sharp. F sharp minor. F sharp minor. Go ahead and get rid of the, oh, we'll leave the line. Why not? Why not? All right, so hopefully you guys can see that in the notes. Let's see here. Oh, it's a little bit too. There we go. How's that? Better? Okay. So, F sharp minor. Let's go ahead and write out the key signature for that. So, the relative major, D major, uh, is um, A major. So our key signature for A major is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Same in bass and treble. And we'll go ahead and do it here as well. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. All right, so we start on F. F, G, oh, and stems down. No, stems up. Oh, man, okay, stems up. That's right, because we have not reached the middle of the line yet. Now we do stems down. There we go. We 
you should leave a comment in the chat saying, keep the stem up, Nathan, or stem down, Nathan. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the baseline, down here, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So you're going to be a whiz at this by the time you're done. You're going to know these notes like the back of your hand. You're going to be able to read the clefs and not be able to bat an eye. Okay, so we know that F sharp is the leading tone so we're going to go ahead and throw that down there we know that two and three has to have the distance of a half step but everything else has to have a whole step so let's go ahead so right off the bat we know that g requires a sharp and therefore uh, between two and three is already a half step So we then need to sharp our fifth. So you're seeing a pattern, aren't you? The uh, the fifth scale degree generally is the next one that receives a, 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 an accidental. A natural minor. Okay. And I'm going to just let the key signatures carry over. <coughs> Pardon me, had to sneeze. Okay, back to work. That's enough of a break. That's enough of a sneeze break. Back to work, back to work. All right. So F, G, A. Oh, and this is going to be A harmonic minor. Okay, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And down here, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Markings between, or the ties between two and three, and five and six. So we're gonna go ahead and copy our previous. We know that it has to be, we know that it has to be an accidental on the first and second scale degrees. And then our fifth scale degree also receives an accidental, okay? And then our seventh scale degree also receives an accidental uh, to, in, to create that augmented second. So if I play that... Ah. I'm playing the wrong one. I'm... I think I start on B, so let's start down here. So you'll see that E sharp is actually, it's, uh, what, is, what do they call that? Um, inharmonically spelled with F natural, okay? So there's our F harmonic minor. And then we need our, or it should actually be F, oh, no wonder. This is our F sharp, F sharp natural minor, and F sharp harmonic minor. So then down here, we're going to have our F sharp melodic minor. F sharp melodic minor, both ascending and descending. So we have our F here, and stem up, and F, G, A, B, C, D, and uh, E, and then F again. Same down here. F, G, A, B, C, D, and uh, E, and F. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we'll go ahead and show the ascending as well, or the descending as well. F, E, uh, D, D, C, B, A, G, and F. And then up here as well. So this is actually down here. F, E, G, uh, D, C, B, A, G, and F. Okay. And then our one, two, three. So this is our eighth scale degree. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So between our second and third, and fifth and sixth. So fifth and sixth, something like that, and three and two. Okay. F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, that much is going to stay the same from our natural minor. F sharp, G sharp, C sharp. And then we know that our 6th and 7th scale degrees will need to be sharped as well in order to get rid of the, um, the augmented 2nd. Okay, and that is our F-sharp melodic minor. So F-sharp melodic minor, and then descending is going to be natural naturalized seventh and sixth, sharp fifth, and sharped second, and sharped first, natural seventh, natural sixth, sharped fifth, um, and then uh, sharped uh, second, and sharped first. All right, I think I'm going to call it there for right now. Uh, we've covered quite a bit, and I'll just, uh, in the follow-up video, we will then show the rest of the sharp keys as well as the rest of the minor keys. So take care, have a wonderful uh, uh, day, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.